Welcome back guys. If you're wondering who am I and what the heck is going on right now, I encourage you to click up in this little video right here and you'll figure out what's going on. But we are in the Crosstrek build. And if you're wondering where Nick is, he's right behind the camera. Don't worry guys, I didn't go anywhere. I want to do something nice for Lewis and help put together this project so that we could do a little build series on his daily Crosstrek. But I'm letting him take it away. It's his car. This was his vision for the build. The rest is on him. So in today's video, I have to give a huge shout out to Grimspeed because all the stuff today would not have been possible without them. So thank you again. You guys are one of our favorite companies. We love working with you guys and I'm excited for you guys to see all the products on the car. We're gonna be doing all of the engine bay dress up parts as well as the fender flare kit. So again, these come in three different colors that you can get for the Crosstrek, Forester, and Ascent and the Outback as well. That comes in a red, a black, or this forest green. Again, I've already done the red in the WRX and I wanted to do something new and I thought black would, just wasn't gonna pop enough on my black car. So I went with the forest green. I think you and made a super good choice, honestly. I really do too. And one of my favorite parts about this is, if you guys know me, I'm whether it comes to clothing or my car, I don't like to slap in a lot of brand stickers or just, you know, logos all over what I'm doing. But this Trails by Grimspeed logo, I just need to take a second to just put a little recognition into this. It is so cool. The badge is super high quality. It's not just a sticker. And they make it look like it was an additional OEM package that you could get from the factory. It could be like a trails package from Subaru. Literally, I am just, I am hyped on that. And that makes me something I want to slap on my car. So I'm very excited to dive into this. We're going to start with the engine bay stuff first. I think we um, got to show them the fender flares though. Let's give them a little sneak peek. I think they've earned it. So this is the front kit here. It's a little bit more simple in the front. It's only two pieces per fender. It's going to involve a little installation of the lower piece to the upper piece here, as well as applying a rubber trim to protect the paint. A couple other parts that we'll get into later in the video, but a little bit more simple up on the front. Rears are a little bit more complex, got a three part system. Again, attaching the upper to the mid piece. And then there is an upper piece above that that's gonna involve a little 3M tape. So, cause that goes on the door, right? Yes, this goes on the door. It is recommended to do this in 60 to 80 degree weather. We're a little bit colder, so we're gonna be using some heaters today, but we're gonna get this all done today. And I can't believe I almost forgot some very important pieces for the engine bay that we're gonna be doing today too. The Delrin Cool Touch oil cap, the lightweight battery tie down and all the engine bay dress up caps. Dude, so we'll the Delrin be cap is like one of my favorite pieces. It's so simple, but it's just, just going to tie everything excellent. together. Love it. And then you've got all the black caps to replace the yellow ones. This is such a simple touch that I feel like people overlook. Like we've looked for an option like this for years. And I think both of us, when we saw Grim Street came out with it, was just like, gotta have yes, it, gotta, gotta have it. it. So Lewis was raised in the, in the same household that I was, and he can attest that, uh, the clean things while you have them accessible or like before you start working on anything is, is not something that I invented myself. This was a way of life in our household. So we're getting everything cleaned up before we go ahead and put the nice new parts on. Uh, we got to do it right for our, our boys over at Grimspeed. Make sure the engine bay looks the best before we go and put on all the nice new parts that we got from them. We're going to start with the easiest install first, and that is going to be the fender shroud. So go ahead and grab your flathead screwdriver, your favorite poppet tool. Just quickly get underneath there. I love these mods that are just quick, instant, easy gratification. Like I've been doing some of the most laborious projects on the S, like the S14, S13, where I'll spend a whole video to get like one thing done. Right now, we're literally about to just slap this on. It's gonna look so much better, but. It's just nice to have some you, simple you, you wins. Know the rule. We gotta clean. Gotta clean. <laughs>
all the engine bay dress up shroud pieces now in place in the engine. We're just gonna add that little bit of zest to finish her off and do the all the cap dress up pieces as well as the battery tie down. So Grim Speed has got you covered from all bases here. Depending on which model of car you have, you're gonna have two different options for your windshield fluid cap. Like my WRX took this one, it's got a pop-on snap on the bottom. The Crosstrek's gonna have this ring pop-on one. And then depending on, the Crosstrek isn't gonna, doesn't have a clutch, so I'm not gonna need the clutch fluid cap, but everything else is already here and included. I'm just gonna go ahead and swap them over. Just a little bit of cap actually was wrong on that. It's little, gonna be little the, cap on the cap. Little cap on the cap. It's actually this style for the cross trek, uh, and it just pops right on. So just. Ooh. Dude, I love not seeing the yellow in the engine bay. Very clean. Let's get the rest of it out of there. relocated inside Casa de Avenged and we are doing that for the main reason of the install needs to be done. Hold between... on, can you just say we're doing that? The main reason? Oh, sorry. No, just start that part over because I want to have it. Oh, yeah. The ahead. main reason we are doing that is because the install is recommended between 60 and 85 degrees. It is still a chilly 29 degrees out in the garage, so we will go wanted to go ahead. We wanted to go ahead and get the fenders warmed up as well as the adhesive tape for the out the trim that goes against the car as well as the tape on um, the door pieces of the fender. So we're gonna go ahead and start installing these inside and get as much done as we can in here before going outside and actually installing them on the cross track. And so if I'm understanding correctly, the front flares have two pieces, one for the main flare, one for the bumper. The back has the same kind of setup, but a third piece that goes on the door and then you just connect them here, right? Before you put them on the car. Correct, right. And so, it's already pre-labeled from Groom Speed. They've got match color coded as well as you labeled camera a little bit. Thank you. Color coded as well as labeled uh, for right hand front. And then same on this piece, which makes it very hard to mess up. So you shouldn't be able to. Yeah. Very simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by taking one spring nut and one of the screws and actually piecing these two pieces together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. And I think one of the big things from the instruction is just make sure the edges of the panel are actually lined up perfectly before you start to tighten everything down. All right, we've got the first one put together here. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse and repeat on the other three fenders and then move on to doing the actual trim uh, that's gonna go up against the car. Woo, sweet. practice here first but we've done two of the flares with the rubber trim so I'm gonna let Lewis explain what this is and what we're doing just so you guys get a good idea if you're doing this at home as well so this is just the weather stripping which keeps water from going behind the fender flares as well as protecting the paint of your car from raw plastic being rubbed up against that so it's just basically got adhesive on the inside here the fender fits down into this channel of the weather stripping so that way when we press it up against the car, we're gonna get a nice seal on this edge right here and keep your car protected, keep your fenders protected. Like I've always said, it's the details. It's always the details. All right, got all the weather stripping installed on all four corners. Now the last step that we're gonna do is install the trails badges onto the fenders. Normally this would be something you do last in the process, but again, very cold outside. So I wanna do this inside where we're in that 60 to 85 degree weather uh, temperature range and get these slapped on. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the hooded wipes and get those prepped for the stickers. And so there's left and rights to these. It sounds like two of them are the same. So left and right are the same, but front and back are, oh no. Front and rear are same. the same. Left and, and right, are left different. And right are different. Okay, yeah, so. cool. So it fits down into this like little nook here. So we'll get those pressed in and then take these guys outside and start working on getting them installed. As 
we are back out in the garage. Got all the flares mounted up. Got all of the badges on them over here. And Lewis is prepped and ready to show you how to put this first fender on. All right, so now, since I've got the factory mud flaps, I need to remove these two 10 millimeter bolts and a third one underneath, as well as this poppet here, and then on the reverse side, on the top of the fender here. And remove this poppet here. Just gonna use a screwdriver to press in. And that will release the poppet. Now with those removed, I'm gonna go ahead and slide on one of the sheet metal retainer clips. And be careful, there's only two of these. Don't mistake them for the plastic clips that look exactly the same. The plastic one's got a little bit more space. In can them. you pull that one over here towards the camera just so we can take a look? You have two of these that have no gap on them. So make sure you pay attention. These two are for these, the both the fronts. I'm gonna pull back this plastic fender here. So I guess if you have the mud flaps, you probably already have those. We're just gonna replace them with the Grimspeed one so everything works according to plan. And now we're gonna to move to this forward one that we removed the poppet from and install one of the narrow U-clips. Dude, so that, that is what, so beefy. That is what two extra inches looks like. And let's just say it again, Grimspeed crushed it on the quality. The fitment is awesome. You can see this little rubber trim that we, that Lewis installed there. Sitting against the paint looking nice. Like, it's just a really, really solid kit. It's just the precision, you know? Like when I was putting them together, I was like, in my head, I was like, man, why are these, you know, two pieces? I feel like they could just come as one. Well, Grimspeed's thinking one step ahead of me. Look how flawless that looks, just coming right in line with the seam of the bumper. Gotta have the seam. That's why I'm not designing products and Grimspeed is, but that is just flawless. Should we show me the other side just for comparison? Dude, this is like- Big boy spec. Dude, this is, this is uh, the guy she tells you not to worry about. And this man. over here is you. Weenie Hut Jr. Straight Weenie Hut Jr. So, dude, and the funny thing is, these things looked way more prominent before I ever saw those. Now that I've seen that on the car, it's like, holy hell, like that's good. Gotta upgrade. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out this other front one and then we'll walk you through how to do a back one. Here's a little sneak peek of what's to come. We use this side as kind of our side to learn on, and I'm gonna bring you back over to Lewis over here to give you the full rundown on getting this thing installed on the car and how we went about it. So this large piece here has to be removed to install the new fenders. This last rear quarter here is gonna stay, and the mud flap has to be removed. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the two bolts that hold in the mud flap there, as well as the poppet underneath. And then I'm just gonna gently heat this up with the hair dryer here to get the adhesive a little bit looser off this as well. There are poppets, and then I'm gonna use a trim tool to pry this off. All right, so we have got the adhesive part installed now, to removed the main part of the OEM fender. So we this is a piece from Grimspeed, and one thing to call out, we didn't show pulling the adhesive off of this because we accidentally pulled this off for the other side, thinking it was this side. So we had to get this piece on, but one thing that I really like about the rear fender versus the front fender is that this piece actually is what holds the clips here, so there's no drilling in the rear, and it makes it a super simple install. So when you're going to install, make sure you've got the two holes that are up here, and then the single one is down at the bottom. 
put on the two C clips here. The small one up here on this, uh, after you take that pop it out, you're just gonna pop that bump, the rear bumper out a little bit. And now we're ready to put on the new fender. <laughs> Now with the main rear fender installed, you go ahead and install the door piece of the trim and we'll be all wrapped up with the fender flares. For this, you wanna make sure this middle piece of tape is gonna be your first one you're pulling, then your top one and your bottom one is gonna be your last one. So make sure when you pull off a little bit of excess tape, you take the upper one and the middle one up top and then the lower one will be down there and you'll pull that one last. You just wanna use these door spacers as well. And these to, come with the kit comes with the kit, make sure, and you'll have a nice flush gap here as we go. Woo-wee! We got all four fenders installed, and it is looking absolutely beefy. Nick's gonna grab some quick cinematics for you guys, just so you guys can see how awesome this looks on the car. So I'm gonna let him roll that right now. With all four fender flares installed now, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up the first round of our Grim Speed install. So you know what comes next. That's that lift kit and wheels and tires. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you hit like on this video, comment and subscribe so you don't miss out for the next one. Yeah.